Guy Verhofstadt has sparked a furious backlash after praising the threat from European Union Chief Ursula von der Leyen to block the export of Covid vaccines to the UK amid an ongoing row over the supply of the Oxford AstraZeneca jab. The latest vaccine row erupted on Wednesday when European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen issued the staggering threat to Britain, also criticizing AstraZeneca for having underproduced and underdelivered to the bloc. She warned the European Union will consider stopping vaccine exports to countries with higher coverage rates than its own and said she is ready to use whatever tool we need to ensure the reliable delivery of vaccines. The EU rate of vaccine doses administered per 100 people stands at just 11.81, according to rolling data on the Our World in Data website, compared to the UK's rate of 39.04. Ms. von der Leyen wrote on Twitter, the EU has been exporting vaccines in support of global cooperation. But open roads run in both directions. If needed we'll reflect on how to adjust our exports based on reciprocity and, in the case of countries with higher vaccination rates than us, proportionality. This sparked a rapid reaction from Belgian MEP Mr Verhofstadt, who tweeted, finally, EU exported 41 million doses to 33 countries recently. While facing dramatic shortages itself. Time to get real. But the comments from Mr. Verhofstadt triggered a furious response from several Twitter users, who lashed out at the vocal MEP. One person replied, the EU hasn't exported any vaccines. Private companies have. They are probably looking at other countries to move their factories to now. You've shown them you can't be trusted. A second Twitter user wrote, you haven't even used the vaccines you've got. Pointless leaving them in the fridge. Another person commented, EU didn't export anything. Private companies did. And the EU were at the back of the queue for orders to those private companies due to their own incompetence. Time to get real indeed. Another person added, does the EU want to lose the parts of Pfizer supply chain based in the UK? Have you chaps really thought this through?